Hi, and welcome to another edition of Mental Health Mondays. My name is John Cordray, and I'm a national certified counselor. And I want to talk to you about why you're depressed. Why are you so depressed? I bet you are watching this and you're wondering that yourself, aren't you? Well, I want to talk about some reasons why I believe you're depressed, and then I want to offer some things that you can work on, okay? So there are three main reasons why you're depressed. They're all a little bit different, uh, but the end result is you're still depressed, right? So the first one is uh, it's, uh, depression can be biological. And what I mean by that, it's a part of your DNA makeup. Probably somebody in your family, immediate family, or grandparents, aunts and uncles, somebody in your family line uh, is depressed as well. And that, that gene, that depressed gene, is passed down to you. Lucky you. It has uh, chemicals in your brain, nothing you can do about it. Doesn't mean that you're crazy, doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you or your damaged goods. It just means there are things in your brain that are not quite uh, on all cylinders. They're not working together. And it's nothing that you did. So there's nothing wrong with you. You're just struggling with depression. So the first one is biological. And the second one is environmental. Uh, and what I mean by environmental is where you're living, your living conditions. And some of you are living in some really bad living conditions. There might be emotional or physical or sexual abuse going on in, in where you're living. You might be exposed to traumatic events. You may wonder where you're going to live or where you're going to end up each night. So there are a lot of different things in your environment that can really cause you to be depressed. And then there's the third one, and that's situational. And my guess, most of you are probably fall into this category, and that's situational. Something happened to you and you're depressed. Now, I work in a school system, and I have a lot of students come to me, and they, they come in and I say, I'm depressed because my boyfriend or my girlfriend broke up with me. I'm depressed because uh, something happened. And that's very real. That's very legitimate. Those feelings are valid. And so if you have had something, some situation in your life, it just really uh, threw you through a, through a loop. Or maybe you lost your job, or maybe you can't pay your bills, or maybe someone died in your life recently. All three of those things, biological, environmental, and situational, can affect your brain in ways that Quite frankly, it's very difficult to explain to somebody. I mean, here's, this is your brain. And we've studied it. Scientists and researchers have studied the brain. And there's so much that we don't know about brain science and brain health. But what we do know is that there are things that affect our brain, which then in turn affect us with our mood, with our physical uh, ailments, your mind and your body are connected. So your emotional health and your physical health are one and the same. And that's my, uh, one of the things I'm working on is breaking the stigma of mental illness because, I mean, it's still out there, isn't it? There's, if you're struggling with depression or maybe anxiety or some other mental illness, you feel that stigma. You're embarrassed about telling somebody else because of what they might think, right? Let's be real here. But we've got to do something about it. We have to do something about that stigma or else you or someone else are not going to get the treatment that you need because you're embarrassed, you're ashamed. You don't want your friends or family to know. And yet that's what has to happen. Don't struggle with depression by yourself. And some of you, your, your depression is profound. It's deep. And you might even be thinking about very dark thoughts about harming yourself. And if you're to that point, then I want to encourage you, you've got to reach out for help. There are resources out there for help. Whether it's biological, if it's biological, you may need to talk to a doctor about getting on meds. I don't know. I've, I have seen uh, clients and patients that really needed to be on medication, and then there are some that didn't. 
Everybody's different. But you might. So, but, but I would just encourage you, don't go to that, say, and, and then just say, no, absolutely never, ever, ever. At least think about it. You might need to go to a doctor. If, you're, if it's situational or environmental, there are other resources out there. You can be a part of a support group. You could go to individual counseling, family counseling. I've done that for years. And it can be very, very helpful to talk about your experiences and process those out loud with another human being. That's the important part in your healing. Depression is going to make you want to be by yourself. Most of you are going to want to be by yourself and withdraw and just not talk to anybody. But that's the worst thing that you can do. That's the worst thing that can happen. Because you need human contact. You may not feel like it right now. You might think, well, I don't want human contact. I hate the people. I hate the world. No, not for me. But the reality is you need somebody in your life that you can share your thoughts with without the fear of being rejected or without the fear of being ashamed or shamed. You have to do that. Don't do this alone. And if you're thinking, well, I have depression, but I'm going to just get through it by myself, I want to encourage you, no, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do this by yourself. You've got to reach out for help. Either a trusted friend or a trusted adult or what I would prefer, a, an actual therapist. you got to find someone in your area that's trained on how to do this that will not judge you but will offer you some support and encouragement that you need. So if you're depressed, chances are it's one of those three, biological, environmental, or situational. But you've got to address it. You've got to do something about it. And will you do that for me? Will you at least think about getting help, whether it's making that phone call to a therapist or making a phone call to a friend or, or doing something, being productive in your day. At the very least, find one thing in your day to be productive. You got to do it. You got to fight this. I know it's hard and I know you're in a dark place, but tomorrow's a new day. You will get through this. You just have to come up with strategies right now to get you through it. And you might need someone to walk with you through this darkness. So that's my encouragement to you, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. I want to offer some very helpful tips and advice right here on YouTube. So again, my name is John Cordray. I am a National Certified Therapist, and I'm here for you. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.